Hey guys, welcome back to the garage. Well, today I thought I'd show you something cool, some incredible precision work that I had done and go over the anatomy of a bench vise, uh, which I thought uh, would be really kind of fun. So we're gonna start with this 209 Prentice that's unmarked that I picked up. I have taken it apart, so it'll be easier to go through uh, overall. Uh, in general, a bench vise looks like this. If there's a swivel base, it does a swivel base. We're going to talk about a stationary unit today. So, first thing we're going to talk about is this, which is what gets secured to the, your bench, is called the static jaw and static body because this stays still. It does not move. Se the second main part of a bench vise is the dynamic jaw and slide. So this is often called the slide. This is the dynamic jaw because it is the jaw that moves. Now in here is where the main screw with the handle goes. So we have our main screw with the, hand, with the handle. And this part up here is referred to as the meatball because originally they were primarily round. You see, I do have a little more cleaning to do. I'm gonna get this into the evapo rust, all these parts in a little bit. Now, in the majority of bench vices, there's a dovetail here, which has the main nut or vice nut, which slides in and is held in place. Uh, can I get the angle yet? There you go, via a pin. That pin is friction fitted, so you usually need to use a punch like I did with this to get that out, and that slides out. Now, in this vise, often from the manufacturer, there are metal shims that were shimming underneath uh, to hold it in. Now, the most common way that a bench vise is held, that the screw is held in the static, uh, sorry, in the dynamic jaw is with a collar that goes on the nut and then held, is held with a set screw in there um, inside the main body of the dynamic jaw in here. And we have the set screw here. These little magnetic part holders, by the way, are the best thing ever for small renovations. Keep everything together so you know where everything is all the time. Now, Interestingly, on this little one, now this is a two and a half inch jaw. This is only, I think it's only 12 pounds total um, when it's all completed. This has a brass main nut. Uh, sorry, the bronze, not brass. This is a bronze main nut. It was cast, and interestingly, let me see if it comes up. There is a signature stamped in there, uh, which, uh, and I had uh, Logan Kendrick look at this. Now these, this particular model is set for removable jaws. So those are tapped and drilled. And Logan is an incredible machinist. I'm gonna tag him in this video from Kendrick Machine Shop. You should check him out. If you need parts for a vise, especially jaws and some other hard to get, he does make them. And here I have these brand new A2 hardened tool steel, which he did inscribe for the dynamic and the static as they are not interchangeable because they are off a little bit. Um, and uh, so these are brand new, incredible machine. Th these will last you know, another 100 plus years uh, with uh, classic vice knurling, not too heavy, but will uh, give an incredible grip. Uh, I'm gonna get this all into the, all the, uh, the iron parts into the evapo rust, and I'm gonna let that sit. And when I have another day off in a few days, I think, Wednesday, maybe, um, <laughs> I will get them out, clean it up, and I will start the prep for paint. Now, here's a question. You guys tell me what you think I should paint this. There is no lettering, it is unmarked. And something actually interesting about this one is you can see here, there is a plate that is very well attached. When talking with Logan, he agrees with me that we think this was done at the factory. It appears that this was worked on by hand a couple of times. Uh, so this may have been a prototype. This was uh, 
This has an interesting history. Unfortunately, the person I got it from did not know any of the history of it. Uh, so we do know that it is uh, somewhere from between about 1880 uh, up to about 1920. Uh, so this is well over 100 years old and in still in really fine condition. The brass, uh, the bron I keep saying brass, the bronze nut is very unusual. Uh, so I think this is going to look absolutely great. And uh, I may make a little wooden platform when it's done to uh, put it on so that I don't have to set it up against the lip or set it so that it's more mobile because this might actually just end up being mostly a display piece because this is just a really cool piece of history and a cool piece of Prentice uh, with Prentice Vice Company being made in New York and that is where I am from so it's part of my Made in New York collection. Anyway guys you have a great day and I'll see you all the next time.